Last example here for lesson 4-4. Four four. Uh, this time we're going to talk about electricity. No, not the electricity you feel when you come into my classroom and you're so excited to learn something new, but it's a different type. So whenever we have an AC current and you have your voltage, which is E, and a current I, and an impedance Z, they're related by the equation E equals I times Z. So in order to find your voltage in a current with a, or sorry, in a circuit with a current of 1, point, 1 plus 4 J amps and impedance of 3 minus 6 J ohms, then what we have to do is you have to plug everything in where it should go. So we're trying to find our voltage. Well, our voltage is E. So if E is our voltage, then we need to plug in something for our I. Well, I is our current. So our current would end up being 1 plus 4J. And your Z, which is your impedance, is going to end up being your 3 minus 6J. So what we have to do is we have to multiply these. Now these J's behave just like an I. So if we multiply these through, we have to FOIL. And we're going to say 1 times 3 gives us a 3. 1 times negative 6J is negative 6J. 4J times 3 is a 12J. And 4J times a negative 6J is a negative 24J squared. So if we simplify this, remember we were talking about how the j's respond just like an i. So if you have a j squared, that's the same thing as a negative 1. So we're going to cancel this j squared, make this negative 24 a positive, which means we can finally find our final, in, uh, our final voltage in our circuit, which is going to be 3 plus 24, which is 27. And then negative 6j plus 12j, that gives us a... 6J. So this would be your final answer after you distribute through. So, whoops, let me get the right box here. Dun, 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 you are done with 4-4. Four, four. Makes me so happy.